I'm just changing this uh, European type chuck. Instead of changing the jaws, you've got these bolt on pieces that you've got to unbolt and turn around when you want to change from the, the uh, gripping diameters for the chuck. So, uh, they're not a bad idea in one sense, but they're not as accurate as the, uh, the other chuck I've got, which has uh, got the interchangeable jaws. But, uh, I use this one for a lot of work that's not critical. James, never caused many grief. It's accurate. It's never worn. It's as accurate now as it was when I bought it in 1972. It's worth it hard. It's a real quality machine. Never ever regretted buying it. I've got to sell this late. <laughs> and all the other heavy machinery in the place is I'm getting to the stage where I should retire from retirement. Does that make sense? I managed to catch up with Eric Evans working in his workshop. He is working on his latest locomotive, the Baldwin 260. He is doing the parts for the steel boiler. That's how long it's got to be. Where the regulator and safety valve may have fitted. So that's ready to weld in now. That's the bit that we were machining last time you were here. And what has happened since? Well, it's been all welded together and I've got the tubes in it. So now uh, I've uh, I've got the stage where I'm shaping the, the plates for the firebox. These are the plates of uh, cut and bent. They go on. They've got to go on there. Plate on the back one and the front to form the firebox. On the thing. But the annoying part is I can't weld these on. <laughs> Eric, what is it? What particular locomotive is it? Well that's for that little 5 inch case 260 the uh, uh, Baldwin 260 yeah, that I'm a ball, What is it? A, it's a Baldwin 260 260 uh, That was done by this little Chinese welder I fitted the tubes in so the fittings in it now and it'll be ready to put the cladding on and dress it up and fit it on the boiler and on the chassis when the chassis finished So we're getting there You've been very busy since I was here last. Just me The dark blue I painted the C16. That is 